Before we go to our next question, we have to introduce our... Our Kilt Ambassador for the month is Nate Silva. He's also kind of a culture ambassador. He's a pretty interesting dude. He's actually Portuguese and Polish. And when he was young, his dad wanted him to play an instrument. At age 12, he discovered the bagpipes and they just kind of spoke to him. He spent his summers at the Gaelic College up in Nova Scotia, learning pipes and making hmm. friends, including a 15-year-old Mike McNutt, who was one of the founders of the band Kudu. <laughs> Nate wasn't really super competitive with other people. He was competitive with himself to improve, basically for his own talent's sake. As he progressed, his love of piping took him in two different directions simultaneously. He had a token role in the traditional bagpipe community as a pipe major for the Highland Light Pipe Band. He was a solo piper. He was a pipe instructor for both you know children and adults. He's a very, very well-rounded dude. Um, and he was also a Kaylee and a folk musician. Through his friendship with Mike, he was a frequent guest performer with the band Kudu on the road. And Nate's kind of found a yin-yang type balance with his passion for bagpipes that he shares with audiences across the country. He balances his freewheeling kudu crazy, as he calls it, with his mm -hmm. rigid and traditional world competition and, and bagpipe instruction, you know, thing that he does. So I will raise my glass to a well-balanced piper and our kilt ambassador for the month, Nate Silva. Yeah. Cheers, Nate. I think there's, I think there's a lot to that in this stuff. I, I uh, anybody who is a, in their lifestyle is kind of a one trick pony is missing out. Yeah. So, it's, so I definitely, it's, it's like me saying, you know, I like, I like my, I wore it today. I had on my, uh, my uh, heavy metal band patch utility kilt earlier today, but I also love doing full formal Highland wear. Yeah. It's, it's know? fun mixing it up and having a balance of different passions in your life. And it's, it's neat that his, Nate's passions, they're extreme opposite ends yeah. of the very, very traditional and the very, very, you know, crazy rock band type style mm -hmm. of Kudu with, you know, traditional competition bagpipe stuff. Yeah. Um, he's a grade two uh, uh, bagpipe player and he's a grade one. I forget what the, the qualifications are, but it's grade two for like the regular stuff and then a grade one P-Brock player. Oh, so really? Yeah, P-Brock. Okay. He knows what he's cool. doing. Cool, Nate. I will, I will say that we don't have a strict criteria for what makes an ambassador, but I will respect anybody who's trying to teach something to support the culture. Um, and I love the fact that he came to it and he doesn't necessarily have a direct blood relation to it either. You know, yeah. it's the bagpipes kind of stir something in you. Like I don't have a direct relation yeah, totally. to Scottish stuff, but it's it. They, they, when I say that, you know, the bagpipes spoke to him, I get it. It's the whole thing. Oh, absolutely. Spoke to me. Yeah. So Eric, Yes. If someone out there in the interwebs wanted to be a kilt ambassador out there on Weblands for USA Kilts, how how would they do how that? How would they do that? How, how would you do, do that? It? Well, it's basically simple. If you or someone you admire uh, wants to become a kilt ambassador, also, all you have to do is post a picture of yourself on your wall and tag USA Kilts. Uh, that's basically at symbol USA Kilts. And uh, you can also send us an email to back that up to sales at USA Kilts.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube or Twitch, whatever socials you do, put it on your socials and tell us about it. 